Hi, I'm Trish. Hi, I'm Ocean. And we're the Alatini family. And today we're cooking tamuri, which is snapper. Traditionally, we would never throw away the off-cut. That's kind of the prized part of our fish. We've got our lovely fillet fish right here, the tamuri. We've prepped it ready. Uh, later on, we'll give it a nice fry. We won't salt it until then. So here we have our fish stock. Uh, we've got the remaining carcass of the fish in here, along with carrots, celery, spring onion and onions. So we're just going to bring it up to a boil and then back down to a simmer for 20 minutes. OK, so it's been about 20 minutes. We're getting ready to strain our stock. Ocean, my sif, please. Oh! <laughs> Over here. <laughs> Thank you. Now, careful, it's hot. You don't want to burn yourself, so nice and easy. And if you're feeling game, give that eyeball a suck. So our stock's been prepared, it's been strained, it's nice and clean, and now we're going to add the miso. Your miso can be quite strong if you put too much in. You can kill it. OK. The miso stock's ready. Basically, you'll need to bring it up to heat later on, uh, but we're going to put it to the side so it doesn't overcook. OK, now, so I'm going to let Ocean do the rest. Let's get in here. OK, so basically, we're going to season these two fillets. So, Ocean, you always season just before you put it in the pan. You don't want to season beforehand. So we're just seasoning one side of the fish fillet at the moment. When we've put it in, skin down, we'll season the other side. OK, so I'm just going to heat up some oil. We're using oil at the start because there's a high burn point, and we want that rather than the butter. The butter will come in after, and then we'll get the depth and nuttiness from the butter. So go for it. It's ready, yeah? Skin down. So when you're putting your fish in and there's oil, always try and make sure that you're putting it down away from you, sort of like that. You want to leave it for a bit. We want a maximum four minutes. You can smell too as well. You really want a really nice golden crispiness on the outside of your fish. If you want to harden it up a bit, you could always put it in the fridge, skin side up, and you'll get a really nice crispiness happening. Probably an hour out from cook, it'll kind of dry the skin a little bit more than normal, much like pork. Give it a crack. So right now, we've got a really nice brown goldenness happening on the outskirts. You can have a touch of your fish to see if it's firming up as well. The opaqueness on the outside's happening. We're going to give it a quick season. We're going to flip it. Probably less time on the flip. Go, baby, go. Oh. Yep. Look at the lovely golden crispiness of the skin. Try not to break it like that. <laughs> OK, so now we're going to chuck in some butter, give it a bit of a, a depth to the dish. You can give it a... Use your spoon and we're going to put a little bit of flavour on the top as well. Get orange at the end of the cook, chuck it over, give it a nice squeeze. Adds a nice little sweetness to the whole dish. A little bit of pepper. Wow, loving it. And you get a beautiful hit of peppery smell too as well. It's cool. And now it's time to plate up. OK, so now we're going to get this lovely piece of tamuri, who's the star of the show. I'm going to put it in the middle. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Kapara roti, kumara roti. Underneath. Underneath. Give it a bit of leverage. Drizzle some miso. Kind of give it a nice little swim, like our fish is going to be released again. And then we are going to pop our salad on top. It's got a little bit of watercress in there. It's kind of a reminder of back home. So this is our Alatini tamuri dish. And if you'd like the recipe, you can go to familyfoodfight.com.au. Kia ora.